In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 7, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, Questions 21 and 22. So let's look at 21. The scatter plot above shows the number of grams of both total protein and total fat for eight sandwiches on a restaurant menu. The line of best fit for the data is also shown. According to the line of best fit, which of the following is the closest to the predicted increase in total fat in grams for every 1% increase of one gram in protein. So here on the X, we've got grams, total fat. The line of best fit is a linear equation. It's a straight line. And they're asking for every increase in one gram of protein, what will be the increase in fat? That's really just asking for the slope. And what I would do is use the line of best fit and find two points. I wouldn't necessarily use an observation because they're a little harder to estimate, but I'd find two points that you can really determine exactly or almost exactly what both coordinates are and so with the line of best fit I see see it pretty much exactly crosses here x is 10 and y is 20 so we're going to use that as one point we're going to have 10 20 and then another point where the line of best fit is almost exactly I'd use right here so that's 30 and 50 and then we just use our slope formula right that will give us the, the change for every one unit for every increase in gram of protein. And so 50, what's the change in the y? So 50 minus 20, 30 minus 10, and we end up with 30 over 20. The slope is 1.5, and that's it. So this is another example how it's really set to a situation. You have to understand that they're just asking for the slope. All right, question 22, we have a survey, percent of residents who earned a bachelor degree or higher, we've got seven states and the percent of residents. If this, a survey was given to residents of all 50 states asking if they'd earned a bachelor degree or higher, the results from seven of the states are given on the table. The median percent of residents who earned a bachelor's degree or higher for all 50 states was 26.95%. What is the difference between the median percent of residents who earned a bachelor's degree or higher for these seven states and the median for all? All right, so we're given that all 50 states, the median of residents who earned a bachelor's degree was 26.95, all right? This is all 50 states. And we wanna see what the median is just for these seven and find the difference. Now, a fast way to find median, we know that seven is an odd number. There's only one number in the middle. There's three on either side. Instead of writing these out, I would just kind of look at these and say, okay, we know it's gonna be the, it's the, the fourth biggest or the fourth smallest. And so look, these are all in the 30s, right? So these are the three, you don't have to order them, but they're all gonna be bigger than these other ones, which are 20s and a 19. So three on either side, there's only one in the middle, and it's going to be this one. This is the median, right? Because these are smaller numbers. And that's just how I do it. You know, look at the graph and just think about what the arrangement is instead of writing them out. And so we know that for the seven states, the median is 27.9. And we want to see the difference. Again, you could use your calculator. Um, I can tell just by looking at this, these are almost exactly one apart. It's a little bit less than one, it's 0.95, right? It's 27.9 minus 26.95, it's gonna be 0.95%. You could use your calculator as well, um, but the answer here is 